Making movies can be a taxing and quite hectic experience for the actors involved. Whether it's a studio that's so determined to maintain secrecy that they keep their actors in the dark, a director who deliberately withholds information in order to create a more genuine reaction, or a co-star doing something that leaves their fellow performers wondering what the hell is going on. So with all that said, I am Gareth, this is What Culture, and here are eight actors who were confused while filming movie scenes. Number 8. Clark Gregg didn't know why Coulson was going to New Mexico, Iron Man 2. So if you're gonna join a Marvel movie, you'd better be prepared for a bit of confusion. The studio is completely and utterly devoted to the secrecy of its projects, which on the downside means that the actors are often left wondering where certain scenes fit within the wider cinematic universe, or even what their specific lines actually mean. On that latter point, Phil Coulson himself, Clark Gregg, tells an amusing story story about the time he spent filming 2010's Iron Man 2. There's a moment in that movie where Coulson tells Tony Stark that he's been reassigned to New Mexico. This line right here is a bit of setup for 2011's Thor, which is predominantly set in that very state. However, when he shot the scene, Greg wasn't actually informed about this, forcing him to question the crew once they'd wrapped filming. As he'd reveal, during one of the scenes in Iron Man 2, they said, tell him you have to go, tell him you're going to New Mexico. At the end of it, I said, oh, what's in New Mexico? Where am I going? And they said, oh, S-word, Thor. Didn't anybody tell you? Thor. You're in Thor. I was like, that's sweet. Then all of a sudden, I was here in Santa Fe, in the desert with the Destroyer, and I thought, this is amazing. That's right, he recorded the New Mexico line without knowing that he was set to appear in Thor. What a crazy life, eh? At least it was a nice surprise when somebody did tell him, though. Number seven, Dennis Green was taken aback by Martin Lawrence and Will Smith's intimidation tactics. Bad boys, too. When you're making a movie starring two larger-than-life personalities like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, there are inevitably going to be scenes where those actors play around, push boundaries, and have a bit of fun with the moment. And that is exactly what they did in Bad Boys 2. Just ask Dennis Green. In the film, Green plays Reggie, who is dating Megan, the daughter of Lawrence's character. In one scene, he shows up at her house to take her out, only for Lawrence and Smith to unload a stream of protective parents abuse upon the poor guy. Now, Green knew that the scene would involve his character being intimidated by Lawrence, who was instructed to be as big an a-hole as possible here, but what he didn't know was how far things would actually go, or that Smith would also be joining in on the fun. So that look of confusion and nervousness on Green's face when Smith starts waving a gun in front of him? That's somewhat genuine, folks. The poor young actor had no idea what he was in for, and Smith and Lawrence clearly took advantage of that, the meanies. Number 6. Tom Holland was clueless about who Spider-Man was fighting, Avengers Infinity War. Another Marvel actor who was a bit confused about a scene, Tom Holland was left in the dark about the full nature of his fight sequences in the Avengers movies he appears in. The actor played Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, of course, where he had brawls with Thanos, Ebony Moore, and even the Guardians of the Galaxy themselves. But apparently, Marvel didn't even tell him who he was supposed to be punching. While talking about the then unreleased Avengers sequels in early 2018, Holland mentioned that his fight scenes for these flicks were particularly difficult to film, because he was completely confused about who Spider-Man was actually facing. On set, he obviously wasn't fighting anything, because all of his opponents were digital constructs, and this left Holland struggling to imagine his foe. As he'd explain, for Avengers, the Russo brothers are like, so you're just standing here and you're fighting this guy and just do whatever. And I'm like, okay, who am I fighting? And they were like, well, we can't tell you because it's a secret. I'm like, okay, so what does he look like? And they're like, well, we can't tell you because that would give it away. So I'm like, how big is he? Well, we can't tell you because that would give it away. So I'm just standing there punching the air for 15 minutes. And when I took the job, I didn't think that's what I'd be doing. I've gotten used to it now. Now, to be fair to Marvel, we can totally understand why they'd want to withhold information from Holland in particular. Because he hasn't exactly been tight-lipped when it comes to sharing spoilery information about his super hero project, has he? Better safe than sorry. Number 5. John Markovich's crazy accents confused Matt Damon. Rounders. John Markovich has a reputation for being a bit of an unpredictable, in a good way, performer to work with. And his collaboration with Matt Damon in 1998's Rounders is certainly proof of that. Damon, an up-and-comer at the time, was incredibly excited that Markovich had agreed to do this movie, and was looking forward to his arrival 
arrival on set. But when the two actors finally got to work together, Damon was left feeling quite surprised and confused with a specific, rather weird choice that Markovich made. During a chat with BBC Radio 1, Damon said that during their very first take, Markovich put on a crazy high-pitched accent for no apparent reason. Across the table, Damon was left befuddled, staring at Markovich, wondering what the hell was going on. But his co-star continued, and even received a round of applause from the surrounding crew for his performance. Amusingly, Markovich then leaned in close and whispered, I'm a terrible actor, which we can only assume left Damon even more confused than he already was. What a guy, eh? Number 4. Brie Larson didn't know what the end credit scene meant, Captain Marvel. Now, while it must have been a bit annoying for Tom Holland to not know who he was actually fighting, at least he was given the opportunity to shoot his movies in the right bloody order. Brie Larson actually shot her scenes in Avengers Endgame before filming her origin story in Captain Marvel. And as a result, the actress has said that she had no idea what was going on when she first joined the MCU. After being cast, Larson was flown to Atlanta, where she was handed a single script page that featured a single line, hers. With no other information, she then had to shoot a short scene, which she assumed was for Endgame, but actually ended up being a post credit scene for Captain Marvel. As well as getting the movie wrong, Larson also had no clue what the actual scene was about, something she admitted on Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show in 2019. In addition, she had countless questions about that one line too, which was where's Fury? As she'd explained, they whip panned over to me and I was like, but where is he actually? Is he in the room? What room am I in? Is he in the other room? However, nobody provided any answers. Larson only found out about the nature of the scene and which movie it was in when she saw it in full. What a weird job acting is. Number three, the entire cast had no idea what was going to happen during the chestburster scene, Alien. From the very beginning, director Ridley Scott had an elaborate and rather cunning plan in mind for Alien's famous chestburster scene. The moment where an extraterrestrial creature violently rips its way out of John Hurt's body is one of the most famous scenes in sci-fi horror movie history. But at the time, the rest of the cast had no idea what was actually going to happen, and that was because Scott told them as little as possible about the scene. According to Sigourney Weaver during a discussion with her fellow castmates, the script simply read, this thing emerges, and that was the extent of their knowledge. While Hertz was being prepared for the scene, everyone else was left upstairs for hours, wondering what was going on. When they were finally called down, they found that the set was covered in plastic sheeting, and that the crew was dressed in protective clothing. Understandably, the actors were all rather confused at this point, a sentiment that was expressed by Yafet Kotto during that aforementioned discussion. As he'd explain, we were all wondering what the hell was going on. Why is the crew looking at us the way they're looking at us right now? Why are they wearing plastic shields? Their confusion persisted right up until the moment when the chestburster sprung from Hurt's body, at which point Veronica Cartwright passed out, and everyone else was left in a state of shock. Well played, Ridley. Well played. Number two, Gary Gullman thought Joaquin Phoenix was an annoying extra, Joker. There's a scene in Joker where Joaquin Phoenix's Arthur Fleck attends a stand-up comedy show, hoping to learn a thing or two from professional comedians. During one set, Fleck, who has a medical disorder that causes him to laugh uncontrollably, consistently laughs at inappropriate times, finding things funny that nobody else in the room seems amused by. The comedian performing that set was played by real-life comedian Gary Gullman, and hilariously, he didn't know that it was Phoenix who was responsible for those random bursts of laughter. In fact, as he informed Collider, Gullman was confused and irritated by the noise, thinking that a random extra was messing the scene up. Here's what he said. The one thing I will say that was a little bit irritating is that when I was running through my set, there were all these extras, and they'd clearly been told that I was doing well, so they were laughing and enthusiastic. And there was one extra who was so enthusiastic in his laughter that it was throwing off my timing. He was just laughing too loud. And right when I was about to say something to Todd Phillips, the director, about maybe getting the guy not to laugh so loud, I realized that it was Joaquin Phoenix. It's my best Joker story. I can't believe it took me six takes to figure 
figure out that the man with the really bizarre laugh was the Joker. Quite why nobody told him that Phoenix would be acting weirdly during the scene is anyone's guess. But perhaps Phillips thought that keeping Gullman in the dark would add to the authenticity of the sequence in some way. Who knows, eh? Number one, Gwyneth Paltrow is confused about everything. Marvel Cinematic Universe. Poor Gwyneth Paltrow. While Brie Larson, Tom Holland, and Clark Gregg may have been momentarily clueless while shooting individual scenes, the Oscar-winning redhead seems confused about pretty much everything to do with her role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. For starters, she didn't even know that she was in Spider-Man Homecoming, despite being in a scene with Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau at the end of the film. In an episode of Favreau's Netflix series, The Chef Show, the topic of Spider-Man was raised and Favreau started describing their scene, prompting Paltrow, clearly very surprised, to exclaim, that was Spider-Man? When Jimmy Kimmel asked her about this incident, she explained that she just got confused, because she originally thought that the scene was for an Avengers film. As she put it, I just got confused. There's so many of these wonderful Marvel interconnecting movies, and I thought that it was an Avengers movie, but it was not. In addition, she didn't even know that Samuel L. Jackson was a part of the MCU. When the entire Marvel cast gathered to shoot Avengers Endgame's climactic funeral scene, Empire reported that Paltrow kept asking why Jackson was present, seemingly oblivious to the fact that she'd already appeared in multiple movies with him. 